Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Um, I'm actually so excited for today's video because I'm gonna take y'all on a little graduation picture get ready with me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I get ready to take my graduation pictures. I have college graduation pictures tonight at six with all of my roommates. We're gonna go on my college campus and take some pictures tonight at sunset. So I'm super, super excited to be able to at least get some pictures since we couldn't have like a real graduation. Um, I still ordered my cap and gown and everything just to have it. So I'm happy to get to take some pics with my friends, but um, I just washed my hair. It's the towel on my head. I'm in my robe. I just did a little skincare. That's why my face is looking kind of shiny. Um, just washed my face, did moisturizer, eye cream, just to prep my skin. And I'm gonna show y'all um, I do my hair, makeup, what I'm wearing, and just have y'all do a little get ready with me and take you guys along and talk to y'all. So I'm super excited for today's video and let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, I think this will be an okay setup. Um, I just took my hair out of the towel, let it air dry a little bit, put some product in it, um, just some like conditioning product nothing special and I have it clipped up because now I'm going to blow dry it slash style it. I use the Revlon hair dryer. I don't know the technical name of this, but I will link it for you guys. Um, it's really, really popular. I'm sure you've seen it. It's also super, super affordable. I think it's like $30 on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. Um, I absolutely love it. This is pretty much how I blow out my hair all the time now. And especially since we can't go to salons or anything, this is an amazing way to get a blowout at home. So just I'll show you guys how I use it. I'm not going to show you all my whole head because that will take forever, but I'll do a couple pieces of hair for y'all and show you how I like to use it to style my hair. But you can pretty much do it however you want. Um, if you want it flipped out at the ends or just completely straight. Um, it's pretty much up to you. So it just looks like this. You plug it in, makes a really loud blow drying sound. I normally put it on the low setting just because I don't um, need it to dry my hair. My hair is pretty much already dry. It's like three fourths of the way dry. So I put it on the low setting. So I just switch it to the low setting. So it's a little bit loud, but we're gonna try this. And then I take, I would say a one inch piece of hair Go over first to smooth it out. So I run over the piece of hair a couple of times to smooth it out. And then to get that volume and that lift, I go under and I start to bend it around the hairbrush. And it's super easy. It's pretty much self-explanatory. The hairbrush pretty much does all the work. And then I kind of just hold it, go back and forth, curl it up a little bit more, get kind of close to the root because I do like some volume at the root, but I don't want it to be curled, obviously. And then pretty much just let it stay on for a couple seconds. The heat does not get super hot, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then when I'm ready, I just pull it out and it gives me a really nice bend to my hair. So then I'll just go do another one inch section, run over it to smooth it out. Take it, go underneath and start to curl. And it really just gives a nice pretty layered, just a really subtle blowout. And it's so, so, so easy. Like it really does not involve any skill. I'm terrible at hair. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it off so I can talk to you guys really quickly before I finish doing the rest of my hair off camera. But I only did like two sections and see how it gives like a really pretty, just um, kind of like bend at the ends. And obviously if that's not your style and you like super stick straight, you can just blow dry it straight down and just get a nice really sleek look. And I'm sure that you can also do almost a full curl with this. I don't really like my hair curly, so I do not curl my hair with it, but I'm sure if you rolled it more, and did smaller sections, you could curl your hair and that would look really, really pretty. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do to my whole head. I normally do my hair in about three sections because I have pretty thick hair 
and I would say it takes me like half an hour so it's not super super long um, of a process and yeah, so I'm just gonna finish doing my hair and I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Okay guys, so I think this is gonna be it for hair. It's super, super simple. Um, it's just like, it's exactly how I like to wear my hair. I really like, you can ask my friends, I'm not really good with hair and I don't like to do it. Um, but I just want it to be sleek and smooth and have a little bit of volume to it. So this is what the final result looks like it took me about half an hour and I do have really thick hair. Um, I'm kneeling because of my camera height, but I don't know. Let me know if y'all think it looks pretty. This is it closer up and I might just spray a little bit of hairspray in it just to keep it to hold or if you want more volume, you can do some dry shampoo or some um, volumizing product, but this is pretty much all I do. And I think it just looks nice and hopefully look pretty for pictures, we will see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will link the tool below for you guys in case you are interested. And I'm gonna get started on my makeup. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, the lighting is changing a bit just cause I'm in my bathroom and it's artificial. So I can't really help that. But I just have my base on. Um, that's why I'm looking a little flat. I just have on foundation, concealer, and a little bit of powder. I'm not gonna take y'all through my entire um, makeup routine just because I have a full makeup routine posted on my channel and that's more of a natural everyday makeup but I honestly don't stray from that that much. So I'm probably just gonna do a little bit more eyeshadow and kind of eye look um, just so they stand out in the picture. So I'll show y'all anything that I do differently, but I will have my makeup tutorial linked um, in the description box if y'all have not seen that yet. That is how I do my face no matter what. Um, that pretty much always stays the same. I am gonna add a little bit more concealer today just cause I am breaking out and I obviously don't want that in the pictures. But um, other than that, that makeup tutorial is true to how I do my skin and my base and I will show you guys when I get to my eyes anything different that I do. But yeah, this is how my skin's looking. I'm keeping it pretty matte just because I don't want it shiny in pictures and it's gonna be a little warm outside so if I start sweating I definitely wanna have minimal product on my face. Um, but yeah, this is how it's going. Hair is just chilling and yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Okay, what's up guys? I'm back. Um, I've done a little bit of eye makeup and I'm gonna show you guys how I finish my eyes. So, so far I have just a mat in the crease and you guys know the vibes. I always put eyeshadow underneath on my lower lash line because I think it's um, way more natural and a lot prettier than eyeliner on the bottom. So that's why I might be looking a little bit crazy. It looks more normal when I have mascara on, but I've done that. That's like my favorite tip ever um, to kind of emphasize your eyes, but not make it too harsh. So that's pretty much all I've done. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of shimmer in the center. Um, I'm still keeping the eyes really natural because I don't want to take away from anything in the pictures. I obviously just want to look like my natural self in the pictures. Um, but I think a little bit of shimmer in the center of my eye will just make them look brighter and bigger for photos. So I'm going in with, I'll show you guys. It's the Urban K on the Run palette. It has like eight shades and they're all kind of, it's broken. So pardon the broken palette, but it looks like this. It's kind of like a ready neutral palette. I actually use it a lot more than I would think. Um, I use the dark brown a lot and obviously the shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with 
this shimmer, sorry that's hard, to point to. It's called Sen and it's a really pretty shimmery pink and kind of like a champagne color. It's kind of sheer but sparkly. And I'm just gonna pop it in the center of my eyelids and maybe the inner corner just to kind of open up my eyes a little bit. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna take a little flat brush like this and go ahead and do that. All in the center. This is really hard to do on camera, but basically you get the point. I'm just putting it right in the center of my eye. So yeah. I feel like it already just brightens my eye a lot. Maybe it's just me, but I love a pop of color in the center with a matte crease. I feel like it just makes your eye stand out a lot more. This palette is so broken, it's bothering me. I don't know how it broke. I must have dropped it, or maybe in my bag one time. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay guys, I really did a super light layer. I'm not trying to do like a glitter eye look. I just wanted it to kind of make my eyes stand out and brighter and just to add a little something. This is honestly a super, super simple eye look. It's nothing special, but I just wanted to show you that step because that's normally not in my routine. Normally I just do a matte eye. My robe's going crazy, but yeah. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit in the inner corner as well to further make my eyes pop and Obviously mascara and yeah, I will show you guys the finished makeup look when I'm done doing my eyes. Okay guys, update on the eyes. I added the shimmer. I tight lined with a black eyeliner just on uh, my upper waterline just to kind of define my eyes a little more and let the mascara look more natural. And what else did I do? Inner corner highlight. Really simple to be honest, nothing crazy. These are the vibes and what else do I have? Oh, lips, I'm gonna brush my teeth and do lips and I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. I don't wanna look shiny, but I do want a little bit of highlight for the picture. So I'll show you guys what highlight I use and what lip color I choose. All right, you guys, we are getting close to the end. I feel like I've been doing my makeup for two hours and I'm about to flash it all. This robe is difficult. So I'm about to do my highlighter. So I'll show you guys. I use the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter Palette and it's absolutely stunning. If you can't tell, I'm super into like pinks and bronzy colors. Um, that's like my vibe. I feel like it looks good with my eyes. Um, but yeah, so this is the palette. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and do really, really light highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with a mix of these two, the bronzy shades, and super light layer. Shake it off and I highlight top of my forehead, down my nose, and then right on the tip. And then other side forehead let me move my hair out of the way and then obviously guys tops of my cheekbones nothing too crazy because I don't want to look oily for the shoot but y'all know the drill apply as much highlight as you want it's up to you I'm just keeping it natural today so yeah sides of forehead down the nose I think it's super cute and then top of the cheekbones and that's the highlight vibe using this palette. This is literally all I use for highlight, guys. I'm obsessed with it. I've yet to find something I like better. Okay, so I'm wearing a white dress, so I can pretty much go any lip color because I have a neutral eye. And we all know I love a nude. So that's probably what I'm gonna go with. You didn't even have to ask. I'm gonna be using my all-time fa all fave Sephora lip liner to line my lips. Um, I have that linked in my makeup video, but I can link it again for you guys because I literally put this on my lips every single day. Guys, I don't know what to do for actual lip color. I might use the same combo that I use like all the time just because I know that it doesn't fade weird. You know what I mean? So Sephora lip liner, Buxom 
lip gloss in the shade Sandy. It's a super pale pink. This would be really pretty, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lip on and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, lip gloss is, lip liner is on. I'm adding the gloss. You'll know I only do the center of my lips. Also pro tip, if your liner isn't super close to your lip shade um, and it doesn't look super natural and blended, you can take your the tip of your gloss or your tube and just kind of go over the edges and it makes it really naturally blend into your lip shade and your lip gloss shade. So yeah, I'm gonna just put this in the center like so and then I'm gonna throw these in my bag both of these products so that we can obviously touch up. I like putting gloss in the center because I feel like it gives me a little pout. Makes my lips look fuller. That's always a plus. So yeah guys, I think we're done. Truly and utterly, I think we're done. What do you guys think? Does it look the exact same as I always do my makeup because I never do a different look? I think the eyes are pretty with just a little bit of shimmer and the nice inner corner highlight. Anyway, this is the makeup look and I hope you guys like it and I'm gonna throw on my outfit, maybe add a little hairspray to my hair and then I'm gonna show you guys the final look for my picks. Hey guys, this is my finished look. I'm getting Trey to record me so you guys can see the whole thing. I just awkwardly have my cap and gown in my hand but I wanted to show you guys my picture outfit, so dress. We normally wear white dresses, it's just kind of a tradition. So a dress is from Revolve, and I'm not sure of the exact brand, but I will definitely link it for you guys. Little wedges are splendid. They're super cute, super comfortable. And then you guys know I have all my jewelry on. Um, just cute earrings, bracelets, keeping it simple. And yeah, this is gonna be the look. I'm gonna throw on my cap and gown and we're gonna hit pictures. I'll show y'all some behind the scenes footage. But yeah, that was my little get ready with me and I will talk to you guys soon.